Yeah, what do you got? I uh, decided to do the video down here where it's noisy. So you all hear the road traffic and be annoyed. But at least you get to say hi to uh, little Nui because she's down here. She's she's never upstairs. Hello, little Nui. Hello, video. Saudi Kwa. Saudi Ka. Saudi Ka. Yeah. Okay, so there you go. You got to say hi to little Millie. So that alone was worth paying downstairs. So the uh, condo is finished. Uh, the uh, total at uh, Home Pro for me to buy the sink and the other little crap was thirty-seven hundred and change. That's uh, one hundred twenty-five dollars U.S. And the uh, handyman bill total was 2800 baht um, that's a lot that's a lot for thailand um but it's 80 bucks <laughs> so for 200 dollars material and labor i got a a sink i got the tv mounted i got a shelf put up uh so it's ready to rent so uh, i'm going down there again february 22nd but i and today is like the 10th or the 11th. I think I'm, I'm going to do another bonsai run. I really do. I went down the other day to meet the second handyman uh, who isn't in the business anymore. Then we asked for the third guy to come. <clears throat> he said he only paints houses and does doors. Uh, fourth, I didn't even tell you about the fourth. He's an expat from Holland. And he just got back from Holland where his parents had passed away. And he just got out of quarantine. So he was just so backed up with stuff in his personal life and, and work and all that he couldn't take on a job like that, even though it was a you know half a day project. So that was number four. So number five was Mr. T. And he quoted me two to three hours for two men, which I thought was reasonable. Put a hole in the wall, run a pipe through, hang a TV, you know, drill the holes and put it up on the bracket and then put a shelf up. Same thing, a couple holes in the wall. <laughs> he, he sends me a video of everything, pictures and a video of everything installed at 6 o'clock and says, uh, uh, three men, six hours labor. <laughs> so, I uh, won't be using Mr. T again. You know, hey, you, you know, I, I don't care because I got it done. But if he had been cool and not banged me for an extra guy who wasn't there because I saw two guys in the picture... Uh, you know, and the extra three hours labor. If he wasn't greedy, I would have thrown more work his way because I'm going to be flipping. So that was an interview process, and at the same time, I'm one step closer to getting the condo rented. So it's all good. But yeah, and then number number five is going to bite the dust too because he he overcharged me, and I know you're like, dude, 200 bucks to get a yeah, that's high for Thailand. That's really high. Remember, I paid 30 bucks to have an entire bathroom installed. So. Um, I was born at night, but not last night, baby. So anyway, I'll put the uh, video of the sink working, whatever. <laughs> you see a little cheap unit I bought for 100 bucks, 3,000 baht, and it's a little aluminum piece of shit, but it's a sink. So there's that. Um, but yeah, I might do another bonsai run down to Chiang Mai. Um, you know, I'll leave her here with the Suzuki and just go down on the bus. It costs 150 baht. You know, five bucks to have a minivan drive you down to Chiang Mai and take me back because I want to get the sheets on the bed. I want to buy um, pillows, pillowcase sheets, put them on the bed, uh, take pictures with my camera. I brought my Nikon with me. Take pictures, um, make a uh, flyer and stick it up and start advertising it online and, and at the unit. Uh, try to get a renter uh, in February if I can. 3500 I'm going to start at 3500 just as a monster TV and then go down from there.